Hi, I'm Lee Benz, the Home Scholar, and we've been talking in this series of videos about um, college readiness and preparing your homeschool records for college. And in the last video, we talked about feelings of inadequacy, but how parents can be confident in their ability to home educate their children. And in this video, we want to talk about how homeschoolers actually have the advantage. Um, one of the big ways that homeschoolers have the advantage is um, based on what colleges actually want, because what they want is children that have passion. You read about it in the college magazines all the time. They want passion, passion. Well, what does that mean in terms of education? And what it means is that a child has an interest that has carried them through all four years of high school, and it's something that they're still interested in when they graduate. Well, so the thing with homeschoolers is we're used to taking the interests of our children. You know, when, when our kids are younger, maybe they like to run around outside, and so we do unit studies outside. Um, but when they get older, we can still take that interest that our child has, and we can still develop classes around it. Uh, and what we call that generally is called delight-directed learning that you take the delights of the child and you in, use that to encourage them to learn more even at a high school level. So what that looks like in a homeschool is that you try to cover the core first, you know, reading, writing, math, science, history, and you're trying to cover the core using ways that will interest or intrigue your children, you know, so readers would use books and um, kinesthetic learners might use hands-on material, and you're doing it in a way that makes sense. But then, and here's the key, the difference with homeschooling is that you can also take the delight-directed learning that your children do naturally, and you can create that into a transcript and course description as if you had meant to teach that the entire time, you know? So even though they're learning naturally, um, anything from, oh, critical thinking or birds or, you know, some 4-H sort of thing, um, they're learning that naturally because they love it, but you as a homeschool parent are going to write a lovely course description about that so that the colleges see the academic value of that, and you're taking their delight-directed learning, and you're creating course descriptions around it um, that you can present to colleges as part of their academic preparation. Now the great thing about this, and the other reason why it works so well and homeschoolers have the advantage, is because this particular strategy works no matter what else is going on in your life. Uh, one of my friends at our high school reunion was talking about how um, in his failing public school that on average students were only at that school for three years before they moved to another school. That's part of the problem with public education right now is that families in general are moving all the time. It's not just mil military families that are moving now. It's people are getting transferred. They're getting laid off. They have to get another job or um, a divorce happens and kids are moving from different schools and different school districts or different states even because of all these things that are happening. But when you're homeschooling, you're providing this really consistent education all the way through um, their, their whole 12 years of school. And that's one of the reasons why um, homeschooling is so um, effective, because it's consistent. And that consistency will stay even if there's trauma in the family, even if there's a severe illness, even if there's major, major difficulties, they still have this nice consistency all the way through um, their education, and that's one of the reasons why it's so effective, because even if something really bad were to happen and you had to take a year off of school, then following year, instead of facing that whole year of failure, that following year you just pick up right where you left off and you keep on going, and that's why homeschooling is so effective. So that is one of the big reasons why um, homeschooling works, right? So in our next video, we're going to be talking about why a comprehensive record matters now that you've provided this consistent education. How do you make sure that your homeschool records are going to be taken seriously? So we're going to be talking about that in the next video.